I'm gonna tell you a little story about when I was a kid. I'm driving down the road with my dad and we're looking at some houses he used to buy and fix and flip houses in like rough neighborhoods. And he explained to me what he was looking for. I was really surprised. Now, obviously it seems common sense, but at the time it was really, really smart. He would drive around neighborhoods and he would look for houses that were dirty, that were falling apart, that had shingles or tiles missing or you know tarps on the roof that had overgrown grass and that were just generally mismanaged. He knew right away that there was something going on at that house and there were problems that needed to be solved, which means that there's value. And he would go and he would either knock on the doors or he would send them a letter or whatever it is that he did. And he would go and he would buy these houses and he would fix them up. Uh, he'd have a homeless guy live in them for a little while so that nobody stole the copper out of the, out of the walls. And then uh, he'd go and he'd sell it. And I went around with my dad all the time when he was doing this and I would fall on the ant piles and get bitten up by ants. I'd be in the car with the homeless guy, go into the house and drop him off. I mean, it's just really wild stories. That's super important to understand. Identifying mismanagement is a really key uh, skill in real estate and finding value in properties. So when you say you're like a value add guy and you are looking for deals, if you are trying to buy stuff that's already stabilized and it's 100% occupied and it's got a brand new roof, you're not really a value add guy. Value add guy is someone who's out there and is looking for problems to solve because that's how you create the value. And I learned that from like the age of five because I had the best dad in the whole world. I was very lucky to learn that lesson. Do me a favor, take your kid out this weekend, go drive around, find a house that's messed up and tell them that story. Thanks for watching.